morning. morning. We have just finished having breakfast at a place called Not Before Coffee, which, funny enough, doesn't open until 10 a.m. Breakfast was a little bit of an interesting situation. Yeah, it turns out that unlike even some of the places that we've been to in India, then it seems like Jaipur just takes a bit of a while to get going in the mornings, mm -hmm. which we completely sympathize with. So yeah, we were traipsing around trying to find just somewhere that did a nice sit-down breakfast with either some chai or some coffee or something like that, and it proved to be a nigh-on impossible task. We even did research last night and we found a place that supposedly did Lassi and then a place that supposedly did Jalebi, which we had tried on our food tour in Delhi. We went to both of those places this morning and they just weren't what we expected. Mm. And as you said, it seems that not many street vendors are even open so early in the morning, mm. which we didn't even leave the hotel room until 9.30 in the morning, so it's not like we were incredibly early. Mm. And so we probably spent a good 45 minutes looking for something, and by that time, not before coffee was open, which wouldn't really recommend it. It was fine. It was okay. It did the trick, but it was definitely expensive for what it was. Yeah, how much did we pay? It was about 450 so about what, $7.50 for what was a pretty average breakfast when, and coffee? When realistically, yesterday, we had an incredible view of Hawa Mahal, mm -hmm. and actually that breakfast was cheaper, so maybe we go back there tomorrow. Yeah. Or the lady who runs this hotel did mention that she does breakfast for 100 rupees each, which... I think that maybe we should give that a go because that seems like a cheap option. Mm -hmm. This place is just not the same as in Agra because Agra had this like really small town feel and they had tons. I kid you not. You could not walk down the street without finding a tiny, tiny little sit down restaurant slash cafe that did all kinds of Indian food as well as Western food at such good prices with free Wi-Fi and AC. And they did meals at all times of the day as well, so you could get breakfast, lunch, and dinner in one place if you wanted to. And here, there don't really seem to be many sit-down places, at least not ones that are affordable. No. So... To sum it all up, basically, not many street vendors and not many sit-down places that are affordable, so we're a little bit lost with food, but we've come back, we've regrouped, and I think we're now going to head off to the Monkey Temple. Yep. Hopefully they don't steal our Bye. camera or glasses, and hopefully we don't get bitten and get rabies. Yeah, both of those would put a bit of a damper on things. stopped at the Sun Temple on the way up to Galata G Temple and I don't know if you can see on our foreheads well mix this much now but they gave us these I don't know what they're called Not painted markings and they also gave us some rice puffs and then they asked for a donation which we just said we didn't have and now we're gonna head to the main temple Galtaji Temple, otherwise known as Monkey Temple, is an ancient Hindu pilgrimage that consists of a series of temples that are built into a valley within the hills that surround Jaipur. For those that follow the Hindu faith, then this particular temple holds sacred waters that are important to bathe in. But for those who do not follow that faith, then the main thing to see alongside many cows is the monkeys that give it its famous nickname. We are back at Grandview Cafe 
for lunch with our new friends who we met at the Latigy Temple. And we are just chatting and about to eat food. Nick and I ordered a veggie roll, some pakora, and a mango lassi. We just got back to our hotel after going to Galtaji Temple. A few pieces of advice are that we got a tuk-tuk up to the back of Galtaji Temple, and that's cheaper than if we had gone around to the front. We, I think, negotiated a very good price of 100 rupees, considering the fact that the tuk-tuk driver started at 300 rupees. So most people probably walk up the valley and into Monkey Temple, whereas we walked down. The other nice thing is that maybe because we entered from the back, they also just waved us through. However, normally the fee is 100 rupees per person. And if you want to take photos, then they charge you 150. But they just kind of let us go in for free, which was a really nice surprise. I think the other part to it though, and this is something just to bear in mind, that because this is all carved into a hillside and into a valley, then there is a lot of up and down. So it is a bit of a hike to even get up to the first temple ahead of the monkey temple, which is called the sun temple. However, if you're not averse to hiking, then it does give you extremely good views of the city, the temples themselves, and also the surrounding area. So actually the views that when you get up to the top are very much worth it. Yeah, from the back gate where we were dropped off, it probably took us, what, 20 minutes maybe? Yeah. To get to Monkey Temple. But as you said, it was a lot of uphill. And then because we walked down through Monkey Temple, we were expecting to have to take this more expensive tuk-tuk ride home, but we ran into, as you'll have seen at lunch, our Australian friends, Annabelle and Jim, and we shared an Uber, which was 300 rupees or $5, but because that was divided by four of us, it was only 150 rupees for Nick and I, so $2.50. So it ended up working well. We saved a lot of money because the temple was free. We negotiated really well on the way up, we shared an Uber on the way back, and then we met new friends, which is always an amazing thing. And shared a lovely lunch with a beautiful view, so I don't really see how it gets much better than that. Gaitor Nichatrian, also known as the place of the royal cenotaphs. For a very long time, this is where the royal family of Jaipur was cremated. And so far, exploring these cenotaphs has been amazing. They're all made of white marble, but then this one's a little bit more like terracotta pinky in color. And the carvings are so intricate and beautiful. It's gorgeous here. Very, very peaceful. Yeah. And it's actually included in your ticket to City Palace as well. So technically, this part today is kind of free, which is nice. Yeah, as long as you use that combi ticket within 48 hours. Yep. And as a result, we get to really explore this beautiful site. So. And there's not many tourists here, so. Even better. seem to be three sections to Gator Ki Chatrian and they're all stunning but this final third section is blowing my mind. 
it's primarily this like ivory and white marble and the cenotaphs are just stunning i mean they all have these like kind of cross like bottom bases with columns and domes and just the intricate carvings of elephants and flora it is beautiful like what a place to be memorialized i think the buildings are one thing but it's the setting as well that really makes this it's the fact that you have such a place of tranquility in such a truly tranquil location as well like with the hills creating a valley into this where literally it's just you and nature and really not a lot else it just doesn't get much more peaceful than this i would 100 percent choose to come here over monkey temple both being equal in that they were free this is just so much more beautiful and calm it's great this has been really interesting to see because i don't feel like we've ever seen anything like this before no but i'm very very glad we came yeah amazing. we almost didn't so mm. i think this is a hidden gem that should be on your list if you come to jaipur agreed but i think now that we've seen all of it then we're gonna turn and head home first day at this hotel we were super hungry when we arrived so we ordered food from them because it turns out they have a restaurant here or they cook food for their guests I think that's kind of what I understand of it right so we've ordered the same thing for dinner tonight it's chana masala and butter naan and I believe chana masala is like a chickpea curry and it's divine yeah it was so good which is why we got the same thing and it's very reasonably priced. In Jaipur, it seems that going to a sit-down restaurant is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. And this is... five fifty six dollars $6, something like that. Which to us seems reasonable. And it helps support the wonderful family who owns this hotel. Mm -hmm. And we get dinner in bed. What's not to love about that? And we figured out that they have a jewelry shop on the street right beside their hotel. So I went and bought this really pretty bangle from them this afternoon. It's the first souvenir that we've got on this trip. It's kind of like a rule of ours that we don't buy them because we don't have room to transport them. And it just saves us a lot of money. But this one I can wear. We just love this super kind family. And it was a hundred rupees. So that's under two Canadian dollars. I told Rachel that in return, she owes me one piece of wearable tourist hat as well. So um, yeah, we'll see when I make good on that. It probably will be at some point in Asia though. In the meantime, we're going to enjoy our dinner. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>